Scott Cast. Nerf, Jeff, Scott, J, Oscar, everyone in the room doing a podker. Scott Cast, Scott Cast, Scott Cast, Scott Cast. We do a podcast and it's called the Scott Cast. Ooh, yeah. Roll that. Roll that intro. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And we're back with another episode of Scott Cast. Hope you guys like the new intro music. I hate it. Well, Came it's our new lyrics. intro music. It's great, <laughs> and it's going to stick forever. Oh, oh yeah. The... Good call, Jay. You're on point today. Um... No, in all, serious, in all seriousness, guys, um, we're looking for an intro jingle. We're going to have a little contest. You guys send in potential intros for us. And if right. you guys, if you win the contest, Scott is going to do a song with you. He's going to tour whoa, with whoa, you. Whoa, 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 you can whoa, open whoa. for him. This is a big deal, dude. If we're going to have an intro song for life, we're not going to go back and change the intro song like we did the name seven times. First of times. all, I fucking write jingles for a living. And you're doing a contest to get other people to write jingles. What is this, episode 18? 19. All right, we're 19 episodes in. You've been saying you're going to do the jingle. I know you're busy. I never said I was going to do a jingle until just now. I didn't know we were looking for a jingle. It's time to get into, get into the episode here. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back, guys. It's another episode of your favorite podcast. What, what is the, what's the podcast? It's your podcast, the Scott Cast. Who put a straw in my drink? Oh, yeah, we do not... Cancel him. Cancel him for that. I know. Seriously. Who did this? Jay, did you put a straw okay, in my there, drink? This is not our fault. We changed our coffee providers. I got to get this out of here. Please get, get rid of all of it. Yeah. Thank you. All right. My seat. My seat is vibrating. How do I make that stop? How do I turn mine on? What do I do here? Well, it's going to be a, a real low energy episode because I am on no sleep and I'm completely running on fumes here. That is, you know, really hard for me to hear because I also didn't sleep very well well that's nice man who who really needs sleep anyway you know i'd like to talk to the guy that said you need to get at least five hours a night because i've been running on five a week and i feel great <laughs> do you i feel better than ever i've been running at sunrise every day you look kind of insane right now i'm at that point where it's like you know how you kind of feel drunk if you didn't sleep for like a good enough amount of time i think it's called sleep deprived i think you're your breaking point what's that movie point break who's who's the actor in that is that keanu reeves <laughs> yeah <laughs> that could be us man you could be Bodie, and i could be the the guy that keanu reeves plays well of course you're the guy that keanu reeves plays whoa <laughs> whoa. whoa i think we should do a whole episode of jeff just doing keanu reeves impressions because you're really good at it i watched one of your older videos recently of you um, doing the, John, the Wick. John Wick thing, yeah. Yeah, I, go, I went through a lot of phases, but we're here, we're doing a podcast. We're probably not qualified to do a podcast, but we're, we started as a prank, and now we're, we're obligated to do it, right? Didn't we sign a contract recently that we have to do 52 of these? We, yeah, we just we signed a contract, so we're locked in for a year, baby. <laughs> what the fuck, man? That was a horrible idea. What happens if you die? Do I have to carry on this podcast without you? Do we get out of the contract? No, you're in contract still. You'd I, be in contract. I'm in contract on my own. And then if you don't continue with it, I think you'd be executed. <laughs> <laughs> it was an eventful week. I ran about 25 miles. Your dog also just shit himself. That's out of my hands. Well, yeah, it's on the floor making piles of shit. In your well, this apartment. is a third. This is a third his <laughs> podcast, man. He goes down with the shit. What's going on, bro? You moved out of your bed today. What's go- <laughs> It's the new carpet, man. He's getting comfortable. Is this new? Was this not here last week? No, and I think he already peed on it because it smells like pee in here, too. Three weeks. Today is my three weeks of no drinking, except today I had a couple shots, but I'm not going to drink when I go home and go to bed. So the goal that I was trying to achieve, achieve out of my sobriety... Um, I hit it. I'm not dependent. I think it's really great that you're able to share that. Yeah, everything that makes me insecure, I just talk about it, and it makes me feel better about the things I'm insecure about. So it's, it's just good to be open and honest about things that are going on in your life. And, uh, you know, if you're not lying to yourself and you're not lying to other people, then you can uh, deal with whatever's going on in your life, you know? On a brighter note, Scott, I saw you posted on your Instagram a very motivational video. Oh, yeah, on Twitter. Um, you posted on your Instagram story, right? Oh, it wasn't on my Instagram story. I'm an idiot, man. I, I try to make you look dumb, and I just 
flipped it around on myself and made myself look dumb. <laughs> no, dude, we're all dumb. You know, that's the point of this podcast. Yeah, it's a video of my first performance compared to my most recent performance and how much has changed. And uh, I guess we could just play the clip. Yeah, I can't. Then... I, I feel like I, maybe I only know you like after you already rehearsed a lot. It was after I had already like started on doing my whole musical thing. I mean, we should play the clip and then we can talk about it. But uh, yeah, it's like 15 seconds of my first performance and you just see me forgetting my lyrics. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Let's just roll it. Scott was up all night yesterday practicing his song because he doesn't know the lyrics to it. I was the baby. I made that. It plays it. I was going to tell Scott so sad that I made it. Cringe, dude. <laughs> After that, that first one, we played the song all the way and up in the background. So like, even when I wasn't rapping, you hear the song because I was like, I don't remember my lyrics. Just play the whole video, and like, I couldn't even pretend to mouth the words. Like, I, I, I didn't know what was going on. I was so uncomfortable up there. It was my first time doing it, and most people's first times are not that bad. Like, it was the most disappointing failure of my entire career on YouTube, probably. I'm surprised you pushed through that, man. I felt horrible for a week after that. I was I was like, I mean, and I still look back on that and I'm like, why didn't I prepare myself for this at all? Like, what was I thinking? But that embarrassment and that disappointment in myself and that failure pushed me to start going to rehearsals, start listening to my songs over and over again, memorizing my lyrics. Like, that was a thing for a while. It's like, oh, Scott's the guy who doesn't remember his own lyrics. And like now... It's just drilled into me that like if I ever get back up on a stage again, I have to give it 150% and try my absolute hardest and make sure that I do not bomb that hard ever again. Yeah, you won't be satisfied until you, until you achieve your dreams. Please, I just want to be seen. Don't you know what the world is me? I'm not who I used to be. so sick it feels really weird like watching a video of myself doing something well and acting proud of myself but i am i'm proud of myself for not giving up and um, practicing and and doing what i wanted to do and not being completely horrible at it well i'm proud of you too scott and i'm excited for the tour and i'm gonna go on it with you we're gonna keep the podcast going we just bought the new gear the portable setup so if you were worried about that if you were freaking out what are they gonna do when scott goes on tour is it just going to be Jeff and Nerf there? Your dog farted again, by the way. I don't know if you just can't smell it or Is there like a, is, maybe it's the air. Yeah, it's, AC. it's pushing it all towards Scott because I'm getting nothing over here. <laughs> Holy fuck. See why we chose those seats, huh? Yeah, this is nice over here. <laughs> you know, that was my seat in the first podcast and, and uh, we switched seats probably because after that first podcast, you realized that you were downwind of Nerf's farts. No, I, had, I have no idea why we switched them. I think it was just because the sofa situation, I wanted the upper hand with a, <laughs> with a personal chair over here and stick you and Todd together. The next podcast, we should just be on stools, the most uncomfortable stools yeah. possible, just to see if it changes the way that we talk on here. With tasers hooked up to them. If there's ever any dead space, like someone can't think of anything to say you just like what do you guys come up and tase us <laughs> yeah do you want to save amazon for later or do you want to talk about it now it's like amazon is like a hot topic right now literally oh. a hot topic yeah no the amazon forest is on fire that is something that i want to get into now i'll probably sound like an idiot saying this but it's a rainforest <laughs> all right canceled no seriously this is not a stupid question i don't know anything about this jay can you educate us did you do research on it yeah i did a bunch of research on it actually i did some research myself i looked looked at some twitter posts about things and different scientists and people talking about the fires there but what did you learn fires in the amazon are extremely rare because it's so wet so you're not wrong okay but Thank what's God. happening it is fire season though right it is the dry season but they typically don't happen naturally what's happening is that they're using fires to, to clear the forest so that they can raise cattle. And the new government is not enforcing any deforestation law. So they can get away with it without the fear. That's why it's up 85% this year over last year. Oh, so it's like controlled burning? So it's what it's supposed to be. But people also will burn the places that they logged to hide that they've been doing illegal logging. 
there's like all this shit that, that like this all this like you said it's up 85 percent from last year i thought it was literally lower than la- like a no, previous 85% year. No, 85% more fires this year, this year than it was last year. This chair has a mind of its own. I swear it turns on and it just starts vibrating out of, out of nowhere. <laughs> Whatever. These chairs are fucked. We're going back to folding chairs next week. That happened once at the airport with me. I had something that started vibrating randomly in my suitcase. It got me in trouble. What was it? A sex toy. <laughs> was it a prank? <laughs> it was just my sex toy. <laughs> No, that was a really bad joke that I didn't have an ending to. It's okay, but. dude. You know what? I wanted to quit this podcast about five minutes ago, but hearing you fuck this joke up so bad <laughs> and learning this stuff about the Amazon rainforest, I, now I'm enjoying it again. I'm having a good time. I'm happy to be back. All right. What'd so, you learn, Scott? I learned that all of the pictures that people are posting about the rainforest being on fire are basically fake shopped photos and they're made to look like the fires are super super huge but the fires are actually happening at a kind of natural level like they're not they're not anything crazier than they've been before our research conflicts does it really? Yeah. Well, I, Scott, are you pro fires, dude? Yeah, what's going cancel, on? cancel his ass. Cancel his I'm ass. not pro fires, but have you seen all the posts from people saying that yeah, there's that a, lot a lot of, of those misinformation. pictures were fake? A lot of the pictures of like the rainforest on fire were like not from the fires, at least not from this year. Eggshells, dude. Remember. Okay, so the G7 nations, which is like seven of the richest nations in the world, pledged $22 million to these fires. So there has to be some truth to it. And you can see them. There's satellite imaging of the fires from space. Because people were scared into reporting on the fires. Sounds like you're drinking some of the Brazil political water. Over here, Scott. What was I researching yesterday that is so conflicting There's with your research? There's two sides to every story, even a fire. The side that's on fire and the side that's going to be burned. Do we have any clout in the podcast game? I don't know game? how you're arguing this, Scott. The fires should be put out and they're bad, dude. I Why agree that the fires? fires should be put out. Yeah. God damn it. Okay. People have been calling me a ginger that needs to have the fire put out on my fucking face. My maybe, entire life. Maybe you so, have some yeah. personal issues you need to get sorted out before you support the fires. Hey, do we have any clout in the podcast game that could get us We're someone who canceled, actually man. who actually knows what they're fucking talking about? I think just Scott's going to get canceled. This is going to be refreshing. His ass, finally, dude. Can you stop asking people to cancel me? I am sick of being called a guest on Scott's podcast. <laughs> actually, I love that I'm undercover in here. You I am d- on a friend's podcast. <laughs> this is not half mine. I have nothing to do with it. You know what? <laughs> It's it's funny the the podcast is named Scott Cast, but everyone always says like, why is it called Scott Cast? Jeff does all the talking. Jeff's the person who talks the most. Like, I'm covering, why is it called? I'm Jeff? covering my own ass. Okay, so what is the real information on this fire? If everything that I read was completely fake about things being fake, then you have to know something that I don't. It seems like there are fires. Maybe it's not 85% more. But, I was never saying that there was no fires. But there's like, it's up to 40% more. And there is a lot of misinformation. Like the Amazon doesn't create 20% of the Earth's oxygen, which a lot of people like Leonardo DiCaprio have said. It's not true. It's completely not true. Don't you fucking call Leonardo DiCaprio a liar. Okay, dude, we're going way too far down this path Should here. Should cancel Leo? No, this is ridiculous. no man. It, uh, even if he, even if he has some facts wrong, his heart is in the right place, and he's trying to do the right thing for the planet. Very true. Here, th- this is a tweet that I read I from a news article, Twitter. Western Journal. Elites caught in Amazon wildfire lie as NASA confirms average fire season. So why are the G7 funding fighting the fires? It's simple. Climate alarmists convince them to panic into action. That is one of the, the things that I read. It's just funny to see Scott swipe and, and there's a <laughs> selfie video of him like, <laughs> what's up, guys? It was me recording. What's up, Sydney? I'm super excited to be there at Big Top Luna Park on September 22nd. <laughs> it's, it's me promoting my show. And if you if you can see this, it's look at how many videos there are of me doing it. It's not a one-take wonder. That's like... <laughs> I mean, it's interesting. I think that people need to do some research and educate us in the comments. They love doing that, you know, telling us what we got wrong. Forbes, you, what, what was the percentage that you said that the fires well, were I've up? I've seen 39% now. Amazon de- deforestation is 75% below its 2004 Ooh, high, which is obviously this? that's a long time ago. Six, but it has risen. years ago. Fires are up just 7% higher than their 10-year average. Only 7%. This I don't is know, Forbes. man. Dot I don't com. know. Yeah, I honestly... Scott's looking at a picture of Leonardo DiCaprio right now. <laughs> he, I, what is he even reading? Forbes.com. <laughs> <laughs> I said that three times. I'm going to have to go do some more research. I, I think that we definitely just... If we're going to talk on these things, maybe we need to come to a consensus before we start podcasting. 
unless people enjoy us going back and forth because I think it's kind of entertaining. We can just all agree that fires are bad. We should have less fires, less deforestation. We don't know what's fake, what's real, who's right, me or Jay. Um, but we do know that whoever got the, the coverage finally over to us made some shit happen. Look at you looking at me like I'm fucking crazy over here. All right? What are we, CNN now? <laughs> What are we doing? <laughs> we're we're S and J, okay. bro. Let's we're we're here to raise awareness about the fires. I don't know why Scott is supporting the fires, but we're gonna put a link down below where you could where you could get educated. You could help out. But we're gonna try to help the planet. The last with the thing, Scott Cast. Scott Cast is helping the planet. The Scott Cast is helping the planet, and that goes right into it. the last thing I wanted to say was that every influencer has a different way of getting involved in topics like this. Like James Charles posted his viral nude recently um and then you open the picture and it said save the fucking amazon forest and what we're doing is another version of bringing awareness to this issue talking about it even though we don't know that much about it through misinformation we're doing maybe not the right thing but we are trying to help and it's the thought that counts hopefully we didn't make it worse did talking about the fires Feed Why don't you try this, Scott? Just go down there with all your money. Take take all your money out of the bank. Just get it all in in twenties, fives, tens, even singles, and just throw your money at the fire. Maybe that'll do a better job than what you just did. <laughs> <laughs> just throw your money in there. Just fuel it at this point. Let's get into that next stupid video that you were showing me of the guys fighting. Who was that? So uh, the big one is a Fuzi, well-known YouTuber, and the smaller guy is Alex Wasabi, also well-known YouTuber. Oh yeah, also just not to sell him short. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa! Stay, 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 stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. What the fuck? I thought they were friends. And what? Why are they even? No, 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 no. Stay there. Stay there. Sparring like animals, throwing haymakers and knockout punches. <laughs> At least Alex is smiling afterwards. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was good fun. Maybe it's because he's mildly concussed. I think it was all in good fun. It looks like they were sparring. Getting ready for some fights. I've seen some stuff on Twitter about Fousey challenging Jake Paul to a another boxing match. Or not another one, but a boxing match. Yeah, well, that was just a bunch of reckless haymakers. That was not really like a, a friendly sparring at all. That looked like there was some bad blood. I've heard about this a lot, and especially when I used to do jujitsu, was like people who don't know how to do jujitsu go in there and they hurt people who actually do know how to do jujitsu, even though like... They don't know what they're doing. Like, not knowing what you're doing is just dangerous for all parties. Yeah. Well, the first thing any boxing coach will teach you is defense. And it seemed like that was the last thing on their minds there. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea that that even happened. I don't know how that slipped under my radar. We're assholes. So let's get into advice from assholes. Um, I'm going to the gym quite regularly, but I can't seem to, but I can't seem to be putting any weight on. Um, I'm six foot two, but I'm only 140 pounds. So if you've got any tips or training techniques that help me put any weight on, that'd be much appreciated. That'd be much appreciated. Jay's cutting the videos again. I didn't do nothing. Jay, did you edit this guy? All I did was cut this it down. It doesn't matter bit. what you did. We got the gist of the message. He wants to know how to put on weight. I think Jay is worried about this kid because he's taller than Jay and he's skinnier right now. So you sabotaged him with the edit. You don't want him to get big. Is, is that what's going on here? Yeah. Only one steroid user per Why podcast. Why don't you take over this question, Jay? Tell you, them what you did. Steroids, <laughs> whey protein, live in the gym, don't do anything else but go to the gym. You just need to pack on those calories, right? That's exactly what I would say. And pump iron, dude. I think it's, it's high protein foods. And then also there's things called mass gainers instead of just protein, which is just like a bunch of carbs with your protein. So like drink those shakes. What country does... Do you think he's from UK? You sound like you're from London. <laughs> That's a UK, yeah. Maybe go away for like six months, do a crime that puts you in jail for only six months. Because over there they have weights in the prisons. And if you are forced to do nothing but only work out, then that'll probably help you pack on some mass. You can't do that in the US though, because they took all the weights out of the jails. I thought it was just California. Oh, yeah, you're right. It is only California. It was Arnold Schwarzenegger who did it. Yeah, Cody Who'd have thought, who'd have thought that Why he would be the guy that takes all the weights out? Arnold did that? All of the convicts were getting too jacked, and when they were getting out, they were continuing their crime sprees, and the cops couldn't take them down. It's yeah. just like a training facility for convicts. Well, good on him. My, one of my favorite things about Arnold Schwarzenegger being the um, governor was being able to say, the governator. 
<laughs> He's crazy. So I need some advice. I'm hopefully going to be meeting you guys at VidCon in Melbourne. Any advice on how to avoid an awkward interaction? Um, what do you guys like when fans ask? What just don't meet just Scott. Stay away from? <laughs> if you see him, walk um, past him. And yeah, just any advice on meeting you guys? Uh, I think he, he pretty much covered the main thing is just do not talk to me because you will have an awkward time. That's the way it goes. She seemed very sweet. I look forward to meeting you in Melbourne. Yeah, it'll be great meeting you. And as far as making things awkward, awkwardness is part of meeting someone new, no matter what. So don't worry about it. Very well said. Hi, guys. My name's Erin, and I'm currently studying songwriting at university. Songwriting. And I'd just like some advice on how to keep myself motivated throughout the school year and how to keep pushing myself to be the best version of myself that I can be. Thank you. You know what? This is just so sweet how they ask us for advice on this stuff. Like, we're the ones qualified to give it. Well, we have a segment on our podcast called Advice <laughs> from Assholes. <laughs> I know. I just I forget sometimes. It's. I mean, it's true. I'm not qualified to give her advice on songwriting and staying motivated because I didn't go to school for songwriting. I didn't even know you could. I didn't, I didn't know that you could either. You have to stay interested in what you're doing, and you have to believe that you can do a good job at it. So believing in yourself is... The main thing, if you want to stay motivated at doing anything that you're doing, including songwriting school. Believe in yourself! Very well said. You motivated me. I didn't What up, Scott? What's up, Jeff? Uh, this oh, this fucking guy again. To stay home now, but also, I adopted a dog. Say hi to Did Lucy. we tell him to do this? Well, Lucy is Did I tell him to get a dog? She's still going crazy, and I was just wondering uh, how... You got, how did you guys train your dog to be good? Thank you. I didn't go out and get nerfed. I don't know why you listen to us. You're not supposed to listen to that advice from assholes. Did We're we, assholes. Did, we tell, did you tell him to get a dog? I told him to get a dog. Now he's got a dog and it's a crazy dog. He was asking about how to get girls, remember? Like how to talk to and girls. And he said, like, get, go. I don't remember we said anything I, about a dog, but I, I feel like he might have. We say these outlandish things here. We don't expect you guys to really do what we tell you to do. That's why it's called advice from assholes. I mean, unless I tell you to believe in yourself, you can do that. But yeah, like the crazy yourself, stuff. But don't go out and get a dog. I got nerfed when he was already five years old. Nerf's got to be like 17 years old now. We don't even know. He doesn't move. There's nothing to take care of because he doesn't move from that spot. You got a little, fresh little puppy. You're in for a rude awakening, man. That dog's going to cause you hell. You're going to be more stressed out than ever. Your house is going to smell like shit and piss. You're never going to be able to pick up a girl now. My dog is two and a half years old, and she's still a mischievous little puppy. Jeff was lucky he got the dog five years old, like when it was already at least a teenager. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm happy you adopted a dog, man. Give that dog a better home than the shelter would. And, you know, don't fucking crash that car while you're driving in sending ad advice requests. <laughs> and you know what? Something we should have said in the last podcast to help you pick up girls is get a dog. Yeah, that's a good that's good advice, man. Because <laughs> chicks love dogs. And now you can walk around and walk at the park and maybe the girl will stop to talk to your dog and, and you can talk to her too. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes I feel lonely and it's just there's nothing like coming home to a dog that I love you unconditionally. This this is actually really good because this could solve two issues. He could meet a girl with the dog and that girl could help him train the dog. And then that's the advice for both. Or he can meet a girl with a dog. He could fall in love with that girl and get attached to the dog. They could break up. He could be attached to the dog and then they got to have custody battles over the dog. Stay away from the dog, man. <laughs> Bring the dog back to the shelter. <laughs> It'll do. He'll have a better life in in the shelter. Despite feeling tired, getting getting through the beginning of this podcast was a bit of a chore. Arguing about the Amazon forest and uh, Jay fucking up the edits. Jay fucking up the edits. Yeah, I had some fun today. I really did. I'll just wrap it up with Scott. Thank you for carrying the show today. I'm fried. I'm gonna sleep good tonight, and I'm gonna catch back up on my five hours a week of sleep. But before uh, we end this, I do have a pop-up shop this weekend with Jason Nash. It's going to be funny. We're going to be cutting hair and roasting fans there. Come down if you want. I put the link on my Instagram, and you guys could come by for free. I could come. And Scott, I would love it if you come by. It's my first one, so I don't know what to expect. But, yeah, I hope people show up. I think you guys should show up. And, it, I mean, it's free to come. But if you come, you better buy something so it's not really free. It's like one of those apps you download for free, but like in order to <laughs> to like progress in the game, you got to buy something. Yeah, yeah. If you guys are gonna come down, you buy something. 
<laughs> I'm just in-app, in-app I'm purchase. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm just fucking around. But yeah, I'll I'll probably be there this weekend, so I can I'll, I'll say hi to you guys as well. Um, oh, nice. Be fun. Yeah, Scott, I would love it if you come down. Um, yeah, it'll be fun, guys. Come check it out. We're gonna make a little barbershop thing. Jason Nash is gonna be there telling jokes i could actually really use a haircut and if if you would, wouldn't mind me filming there i will you know get my haircut at the pop-up there you go i'm gonna give scott a haircut at the pop-up so be there see the haircut get done live it's gonna be nuts it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be fucking crazy and i'm gonna be performing <laughs> my entire new album at the pop-up Damn, while i'm getting a haircut <laughs> wow nerf's gonna be there jay and oscar are gonna be there come on down the Westfield Mall. All right. I think that wraps it up. Um, I'm going to go get ice cream. <laughs> let's go get ice cream on me. All right. You earned it. <laughs>